My name is Sean Taylor, owner of Exclusive Mechanical Systems, and inventor of the Extractigator product. I'm here in the Extractigator factory, and I'd like to take a few minutes of your time to show you how the Extractigator is the best tool of choice to assist you in removing invasive and unwanted plants, roots and all. But first, let me show you how it works in the field. This here is an invasive plant to the North America West Coast called Scotch Broom. To remove this using the Extractigator, I'll just do three simple steps. By raising the Extractigator, the jaws open. I will place the jaws around the uh, invasive plant. I will push the handle to the ground using my body weight and it will come out of the ground. So, lifting it up, push, push around, using my body weight, push to the ground, and there you have it. It's that easy. And here's a closer look. Lifting the extractigator, the jaws open, I'll place around, push down, and it's out of the ground. Lifting the extractigator, the jaws open, I will place it around, using my body weight, push to the ground, and it's out. Again, the handle is a hollow steel tube with a rigidity gusset. This allows the extractigator to be lightweight, yet retain the strength required for a lifetime of use. The handle is finished with this bright orange, durable powder coated paint and capped with a soft foam grip. The base or body of the extractigator, along with the jaw, are solid steel finished with a black rust proof paint. Attaching these three components are two grade 8 bolts. I should also mention that all components have engineered welds. These are not spot welds or incomplete welds, rather welds that are strong enough to bond the components together without adding extra weight and weakening the metal attached. You'll notice the unique cam shape of the body of the extractigator. This is a key feature to the extractigator product line. The pivot or attachment point of the handle is close to the stem of the plant you are wishing to remove. This allows a greater force to be applied at the beginning of the pull to free the roots of the plant from the ground. Once the roots break free and the handle is pushed further to the ground using your body weight, the fulcrum increases, allowing more distance between the jaw and the ground, which removes the rest of the plant. Now here's an accessory called the Bigfoot. Originally designed to help resist sinking in soft soils, it increases the platform footprint of the extractigator. Bonus to this is adding stability, which is most helpful if you're working on a hill or in tight areas where you can't get straight onto the plant. It is made of aircraft grade aluminum and finished with a durable orange powder coating. It is very easy to install. To install the Bigfoot accessory, simply remove the wing nut, which holds the retaining bracket with the lock nut. Put the front of the extractigator under the tab of the Bigfoot. Now this can be the classic extractigator or the junior model. It'll fit both. And install everything in reverse order, starting with the retaining bracket, lock nut, then wing nut, and you're ready to get to work. So here's an example of uh, using the extract gator with the Bigfoot accessory attached, removing some uh, common alder trees. Sometimes you got a long cap root, so what you can do is just lift up and it grabs it again. Again, a long cap root, lift up.
This is the junior model. It shares the same camshaft profile as the original or classic extractor. So you can use the Bigfoot accessory with it if you'd like. It is a little bit lighter by way of having um, thinner material used on the cam, as well as eliminating the gusset and about a foot of length off the handle. So that's all for now. Thank you for your time and thank you for considering the Extractigator product. If you have any questions, please feel free to send me an email at info at extractigator.com. Thanks again and happy extractigating.